Thanks for watching Wise Monkey. Please share and subscribe. Subscribe to win a future grand prize. Hopefully we'll give it out once we reach 1 million subscribers. Uh, if we do, but it'll be big. Okay, and uh, there'll be some link for a uh, uh, few necessary parts and tools in the description of video. Uh, please check those out too, and that's actually helpful. So we'll show you a problem that happens with 4x4 trucks, SUV, and other vehicles. Uh, the one that has 4x4 continuous four-wheel drive with uh, high and low options, like uh, like this one. So it engages in the four-wheel drive, which is continuous. There's no two-wheel option in this vehicle. And... Uh, Four wheel drive high, it will blip as you can see the yellow light flashing, but it will not engage. Stops four wheel low, same problem, and uh, other ones differential lock, same problem, doesn't work. So, dealers are saying is the transfer case control module. There is a module that's uh, that's uh, right here under the dash. There are uh, numerous modules, but there is one that's uh, transfer case control module. They are about three, four inches by two inches, and. <clears throat> that's uh, to replace it reprogram it it's about twelve hundred dollars so what i think and i found in the past i'm showing it now in the dash the instrument class cluster is i'm trying to focus there This ABS light is on, so as the traction control light. Car is not running now, and even if the car runs, and I press this, it flickers, it blips, blip, and then goes away. It doesn't engage. Same with the other two. So, what's my understanding is the ABS and the traction control, they, they are dependent on the wheel, uh, wheel uh, ABS sensor or speed sensor. And if they are not working, of course, the program will not work right or will stop by default of the activation of 4x4 high or 4x4 low because uh, those uh, settings depends heavily on the input uh, from the from the uh, ABS uh, wheel uh, speed sensors, right? So if wheel speed, speed sensor is not working, then traction control, secondary tra traction control will not be activated or primary. So as the uh, 4x4 will not engage properly. So they did it as a safety reason, otherwise cars will give uh, 360 spins, right? If one ABS sensor doesn't work. So based on that, <laughs> I got a code reader. I want to read the code first instead of paying $1,200 to the dealer. Uh, it's a lot cheaper to buy a code reader. So buy bought a, this code reader, which is uh, Autolink AL619. Now, too much light here. Eh? This is a uh, This Autolink uh, 619 is, uh, it can read code of any vehicle, 96 or newer, OBD2, Asian, European, domestic, made in Mars, made in Moon, anything and everything I'm just kidding okay yeah Asian European domestic vehicles 
so and it did read fine with this GM and with Honda's so here is showing a code that tells I don't know if you can see with this uh, light going on it says it says C0035 or front left wheel speed sensor is faulty so body wheel speed sensor checked it already and body speed sensor which is Holstein ABS sensor we'll install this one we'll show how to install this in this vehicle it's just a uh, one bolt holding it down but many other vehicles it is uh, built in in the wheel bearing that's uh, that's difficult to handle uh, a lot more work but this is pretty easy now if that doesn't fix this ABS uh, and traction control problem then we'll rescan and see what's left but I'm pretty sure this will uh, fix this issue and then this will connect uh, this this will uh, engage so right now I'll start the car it's very loud but I'll start the car just to show that this doesn't engage so we yeah, jacked up the car jacked up the car and the vehicle how to safely jack up a vehicle please check another video I posted and uh, the jack stand has to be there it's between life and death no jack stand cannot rely on a hydraulic jack even a scissor jack cannot rely on that very very important a lot of people got gotten injured or even died from this anyway so what we found is interesting is this this is the ABS sensors line front left someone welded it here and it came off so you can put it back weld it back but it's better to replace the whole thing we'll try replacing it to replace this the caliper has to come off so there are two bolts here at the back right here one here one at the back bottom rear bottom so take those two out take the caliper out nicely without breaking the brake lines and we'll rest it on a jack stand so that it doesn't uh, get broken so we'll take it out now and then rotor will come out we should be able to access the the ABS sensor from there so we decided to fix uh, this broken cable here uh, instead of uh, replacing the uh, uh, ABS sensor with a new one although uh, we had the new one here the reason is the caliper has to come out and the top caliper bolt open but the bottom one is seized I don't want to break the bolt now it's pretty cold here and so ended up for now to fix this broken wire here but to replace the ABS sensor take those two bolts out of the caliper take the caliper out put it on a jack stand like this leave the rest the caliper there and then right here right there the ABS sensor is held down with one 10 millimeter bolt so like this kind of bolt down there 10 millimeter and the other end of it is a connector that's right here right here at the connector I don't know if you can see just one tab pull it out put the new one in it's very important to to tie it down like this or through the holes if it's not too rusted like here And here so that uh, it doesn't move much if the wire moves then it breaks <laughs> so 
So fix that line, ABS uh, wire, and the ABS light, traction control light is gone. Now, if I press the uh, button, it engages nice and fine. Goes back. I think I have to put it to neutral to go there. So neutral. Uh, and I heard the sound, the thud from the uh, transmission control motor. Sometimes that goes bad too. It's right next to the transfer case under the vehicle, right under uh, this, uh, usually uh, right under this uh, shifters. Uh, accessible from outside it's an electrical motor that shifts the uh, transmission now, rear differential lock works fine so I go back to heard that sound and no ABS attraction control yet and secondary traction control which is TC2 right here was not working either before Now looks like that's uh, uh, maybe I have to put it to park. Not sure if the TC2 working or not. And let's tow. Okay, TC2 works when it's on tow, I think. So I press this button, which turns on the tow light. Like tow off, tow on. Now, which is this. Now we... Does it need to be neutral? So I turn this off. So the point is, this is working now, and the ABS sensor is connected. I'm pretty sure before it was working when the ABS was fixed. So this will probably work too. But uh, with a faulty ABS sensor, with a speed sensor, it will not work. Let's see how long it works. We didn't really change the ABS sensor. We just uh, fixed the wiring. Uh, hopefully it will be old one is still good and it'll work but we'll know as we drive the bottom line is replace before any expensive work like changing the transmission uh, control module or so which is hundreds if even uh, more than thousand dollars cost buy a good code reader scanner like like this I will give some link of this this is auto uh, auto link al619 or higher this one reads airbag abs sensor and a regular check engine light everything of domestic import and uh, uh, european asian all, all vehicles okay please uh, share and subscribe thanks for watching